What happened? I just think it's hard for her to live all by herself. I think we should make an effort to visit her more often. Mm -hmm. Jessica, why are you standing there? I'm just waiting to see Kate before she leaves. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. Pretty soon you'll be going out on dates, too. I know, Daddy. I just want to see Kate, that's all. This is so humiliating. Oh. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Where's the camera, Sam? I want to take her picture. Mom, yeah. please, not now. Now, now, Kay. If your mom wants to take a photo, that's what we're going to do. I got it. Let's make it a family shoot. Yeah. Oh. So just push that button. Right there. Sure, Chief. Come on, okay? <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on. <laughs> Jessica, get in here too. <laughs> Everyone say Cheshire Cat. Oh. Cheshire, Cheshire Cat. cat. <laughs> oh, God. Gotta fly. Uh, I got, you are forgetting something. Who is this big date with? Well, actually, um, it's with Miguel. Miguel? I thought you guys were just pals. I didn't know you were dating. Neither does Miguel. Why isn't this young man picking you up? Well, it's kind of a surprise thing. It's gotta go. Don't you love it? Just one surprise after another tonight. Thank you. But baby, I know I don't want to live one more day without us. For me? You are everything I've ever you. wanted. You're the one I've They're beautiful. For all of my Not half as beautiful as you are. Don't wait a moment more to touch me. Don't wait a moment. I knew it was a mistake for us to stay here tonight. Mom, stop it. What happened just now has, has nothing to do with our being in harmony. I don't believe that, Charity. They found us. Mom, nobody's found us. That's not what happened. Then what was it, Charity? Those stories you told me last night about evils out there trying to harm me. It just affected my dreams and, and made me sleepwalk. That's all it was, Mom. You don't know how much I wish that was right, Charity. I am right, Mom. Now let's forget about all this bad stuff and, and just have a nice time tonight. Come on, let's go to dinner. I know that they found us. You disobeyed me, Teresa. I told you not to go see Mrs. Crane. I know, Mama. I meant it when I said that you cannot take the job she has for you. Oh, please, don't be mad, Mama. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Is Whitney there? Yes, and she's as upset with you as I am. May I talk to her, please? She wants to speak with you. Are you crazy or what, Teresa? Forget that, Whitney. You should see where I am standing right this second in Ivy Crane's bedroom. The house and the job are everything I ever dreamed of. I am not hearing this. Oh, I want to be here every day. Get to know Ethan while he gets to know the real me. He's going to fall in love with me just like I knew he always would. That's not going to happen, and you know why. You didn't tell Mom about all the accidents I caused Ethan, did you? Not yet, but I should. I take it Ethan hasn't seen you yet. How'd you know? Because if he had, you'd be calling Collect from jail. That's why I have to play this very carefully, Whitney. I just know if I talk to Ethan alone, face to face, I can make him understand that I am not the threat to him he thinks I am. Don't even try it, Teresa. You've been lucky so far, but it's not gonna hold out forever. Do the smart thing for once. Get out of that house and come home right now. Sorry, Whitney. I am not about to blow the last chance I might ever have to end up with Ethan. What do people like Jean-Luc get off thinking they can target us just because we're cranes? I can't answer that, Ethan. What is that movie line? 
I'm sick and tired and I'm not going to take it anymore. That's how I feel right now, Sheridan. If this has anything to do with what Jean-Luc did to me, forget it. He's not even worth it. It's about all the Jean-Lucs in the world. All the people who think they know who we are because of our last name and take advantage of us because of it. Including that damn local girl who's been after me. She's still at it? Yes, and I'm determined to find her and make an example out of her. And, and if I don't, who knows what could happen? Someone even more dangerous could get it into their twisted minds to come after you or my sisters. I won't let that happen. Mid-twenties, very pretty, blonde hair. Have you seen her? Yeah, I have. Tell me where she is. Eye of Newt, unholy water, reveal to me the missing daughter. Show me the girl Charity again. Why can't you see the girl this time, Delva? <sighs> Damned if I know, Timmy. <sighs> and wouldn't you know, it would be the girl's mother's twin, Grace Bennett, who'd blow it for us. Show me charity! Oh! Rats! It just isn't working! But you can't give up, Talitha! You said Timmy and Talitha would die if you do! Try again! <sighs> What? How did I get these? No, no. Mom, you almost ready? I don't want to be late for the lobster shack tonight. Yes, sir. Hi, reservation for two, Lopez Fitzgerald. Is the other person here yet? Uh, no, you're the first one in your party. I'll let you know when your guest arrives. Okay. Uh, you'll know her when you see her. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> 